longer in the course, you should have already either purchased a shirt design or created your own design using the tools and resources that we discussed. In this lecture, we will go over the process to upload your first design to the Redbubble platform. Redbubble makes it easy for you to upload and sell your designs to customers so you can spend your time focusing on your artwork and creating quality designs. In a previous lecture, we also went over how to perform keyword research and we created a keyword list for your design. You will need your keyword list in order to optimize your product listing and to increase your search engine rankings and visibility to customers. If you already sell on Merck by Amazon or Teespring, you can find the best selling designs there and start by uploading that one to the Redbubble platform. You can also use the same title and description if they've already been keyword optimized. So make sure you have your design and keywords ready and let's head over to Redbubble. Before we upload our design, Let's go over how to change our profile art. Go up to the icon up at the top right and click on it to get to your profile. Here if you like, you can change your banner image, your profile image, and provide a short bio and description of your brand. If you wanted to make any changes, simply go over to the edit button here and click on edit your profile. But to get started, I've already uploaded an example banner and profile image, so go ahead and do that now as well if you like. Once you're ready, we're going to go back up to the icon at the top right and go down to the tab that says add your first work. So here's the page you can come to to upload your designs to the Redbubble platform. If you scroll down, they also have a section where you can add a new calendar and a new written work as well. But since this course is focused on t-shirts, let's stick with normal designs. So to upload your design, go ahead and click on the box in the center. Find and open the design that you wish to add to the Redbubble platform. It may take a second to upload and upload complete. So once your design is uploaded, you can scroll down to see all the different products that you can feature your design on on Redbubble. They got everything from standard print clothing, large print clothing, women's tops, graphic tees, A-line dress, stickers, iPhone cases, phone wallets, Looks like they got mugs, leggings, travel mugs, drawstring bags, and all sorts of other products that you can put your design on as well. If you keep scrolling down, you should get to a section where you can add in your title, a description of your design, and your product tags. This is the section where you're going to need your keyword list. Go ahead and get your keyword list out and fill out your title and description and also fill in some relevant tags as well. Using good keywords in all three of these areas will help increase your search engine rankings and improve your listing optimization. You can have up to 50 different tags and you need to separate these by commas. Try to use as many of these as you can with relevant keywords. Once you're finished, you can scroll down and they have a section where you can add other languages as well, but all I know is English, so let's keep scrolling. If you go over to default view, you can click the drop down menu and select which product you want to show as default. Since this course is about starting a t-shirt business, I'm going to select men's premium t-shirts. Make sure your design is set as public and under mature content, go ahead and click on no. Unless your design contains mature content, of course, go ahead and select the checkbox beside the red bubble agreement here. Then you can go down and click on save work. It may take a few moments as Redbubble adds your design to all the different products. There we go. And once your artwork is finished processing, you should be taken directly over to your product listing page. You can see a message up top here that says your work was successfully added and it can take up to 15 minutes to appear in your portfolio. So let's check out my product listing and see what the customers will see. We got a bunch of photos on the left hand side that customers can click to zoom in. And if you click the drop down menu under clothing style, you'll see all sorts of designs and styles that customers can order with your shirt design. Let's select the lightweight hoodie and see how it looks. So as you can see, all the photos changed to show the model with the lightweight hoodie. But let's change it back to the t-shirt for this course. They have five different colors here that you can choose from. And to see an example of each color, simply click on the one you want to see. There are also six sizes customers can choose from, ranging from small to 3XL. The price is $33.33 with a public price of $40. If you scroll down, 
Customers can see a sizing chart for the t-shirts. You can see more information about your company, like when you joined, and the number of available products that you currently have. If you wanted to edit your product listing, go up to right up under the title and click on edit. On the product previews page, you can edit each individual product if you like by simply clicking on the edit button and then you can change the style, the font, the colors, the size of your image on the product, and whether to center it vertically or horizontally. If there are certain products that you don't want your design to be featured on, simply go to that product and click on the disable button. Once you're finished editing your products, make sure you scroll back down to the bottom and click on save work. So that's it for uploading your first design to the Redbubble platform, and I'll see you in the next lecture.